Hey guys, so I am finally back. So if you guys haven't been following me on my social media, you guys probably have no idea that I was actually away in Mexico for two weeks. And apart from that, I was visiting my hometown. And so I was like away for like three and a half weeks or so and then when I got back I had so much unpacking to do and I still have like unpacking to do there's like a bunch of stuff in my car and um I don't know I still have so much to do and on top of that I was doing laundry and um just stuff that I hadn't really gotten done yet until you know like because I had so much stuff I had to do before I left and I kind of just left my house a huge mess so I had to do that and then all of a sudden school started so I started school this week and I didn't have school on Monday which was really really a good thing for me and um so my first day was on the Tuesday and I had class on Tuesday and um, I had classes until today and so um, I'm loving my schedule so far. I go to school Monday through Thursday but um, since I didn't have school Monday because of the holiday I didn't go to class on Monday but um, yeah I'm liking it so far but before I keep on rambling on here um, I wanted to let you guys know that I will be making a video to go show you guys about like my trip um, in Mexico and I want to be showing you guys like all the things I did and stuff. I try to take as many like pictures. I try to do some vlogging and I'm not a really good vlogger. That's what I discovered. Um, I want to eventually get into it but I'm just not really that good. So I don't know if you guys knew this but I stopped um, subscribing to Ipsy because I was just not really into it. Um, a lot of the products I didn't really like. Um, they were really small sample sizes. So I figured I'd spend my money elsewhere and buy things I wanted to buy. Doing that, I found this cool thing. There was this thing called a Walmart Beauty Box. And so it only costs $5 and I think they do four a year. So you get one for like spring, summer, fall, and um, winter. And so I did the winter one. So once I got back from my vacation, I came and I saw it at my doorstep and I was really happy because I've been wanting it forever. Well, since I signed up for it. And um, here it is. So this is how it looks. And I haven't opened it. I just took off the ceram wrap. And it's kind of cute. I mean, I don't know. It has like some makeup on here. And um, I just want to open it up and see what I got. So I promise you guys I haven't opened it up. I've been waiting to actually open it up to see um, what's in here. But I wanted to wait till I recorded this video. So I guess we'll find out right now. So the first thing I'm pulling out is this Dub Deep Moisturizing Nourishing Body Wash. And um, this is fun because I love using body washes over soaps. And it's funny because right now I'm actually using the Dub Shampoo. And I love that. So I'm probably going to love this. And the next thing I'm pulling out of this box is this Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. And it's a little bottle, but I know that a little bit goes a long way with Aveeno, and it's amazing moisturizer. So um, I'm happy to get this because this is a little bit more pricier. Like one of these little bottles I think would run for like $2. Um, because the other little bottle, the like little tube size, is like six or seven dollars. So yeah. Um ooh. Okay, so this next thing I'm really excited about because I actually saw a little bit of the documentary of Bird's Beast History. It's on Netflix. If you guys haven't checked it out, check it out. And it's totally crazy. I didn't realize that the founder of it was this like really old man and it's actually the guy in the, um, the picture of the Bird's Beast. It's actually not on here, but um, he like made the whole company and it became like this like billion dollar company. The guy, he's like very simple. He lives a very simple life and it's like money doesn't even get to his head. He still like has a wood stove and just all these simple things that you know make him love life. So after seeing the documentary it made me want to get Bruce Bee's things. I think I've only gotten a little like chapstick but I don't know maybe that was in high school. I remember having something along those lines but I could be mistaken and it could have been my friend. But nonetheless I'm excited to try these wipes and I know a lot of their stuff is expensive so 
Um, I think this is about $5 already, so I think this box is worth the money. Okay, so the next thing I'm pulling out is the flower, love the way you feel. Um, so I think this is, um, that, what's that girl's name? Drew Barrymore's line. I've seen the makeup and I've been wanting to try it. I still haven't gotten any of her things from her makeup line, but everything is so packaged, like so cute and stuff, and I want to try to get it, but I don't know. Maybe sometime, maybe tomorrow. Um, I think these are fragrances. They're like little testers. There's three of them, so. <laughs> now I have to actually pull it up, pull the little plastic thing up. So the next thing I'm pulling out is this CoverGirl lip gloss, and it doesn't let me know what um, what shade it is, but it's like a pink, almost metallic. Um, I love lip glosses and I love pink, so I love that. And the next thing I'm pulling out from this box is L'Oreal Color Vibrancy Nour Nourishing Shampoo. And um, I think this is a conditioner. And yeah. So these are like the tester kind of things. And I don't color my hair, so I don't know if that's really gonna benefit me. But um, maybe I'll give it to my sister because she always colors her hair and I think she'll like it. So this next thing is John Frieda, and I think it's the last thing in the box. And I love John Frieda stuff. Um, I love their heat protectant spray and also their, what is that, their hair serum. Um, okay, so this is visibly full, touchable, soft. Touchably full for color treated hair, shampoo and conditioner. And again, it's for color treated hair. I'm pretty sure I can try this, but um, I think I'll give it to my sister because she loves big voluminous hair and her hair is a lot thinner than mine. And um, if anything, I hate volume because I already have a lot of hair as it is. But um, I'll give this to my sister too. And um, she's probably watching this and she's probably excited because she loves anything that makes her hair voluminous and she loves trying out new things. So that'll save her some money and she'll see if she likes it or not. So there you have it. That's my beauty box from Walmart. And um, I thought like I was gonna get more like makeup stuff. So I don't know, I'm, I'm not satisfied. For sure I like the Burt's Bees. And um, there's 10 wipes in here. And um, I love the lip gloss and I love the Vino and body wash. I'm totally gonna use those. So I guess I'm gonna use them all. And the perfume, I'll probably test it out and see if I like it or not. And yeah, I think it's definitely worth a little bit more than $5, so it's worth a try. And yeah, I think, I don't know, I think I'll get it next time and see what I get for my um, spring, <laughs> for my spring box. And hopefully they give me some cute, like, colorful lipsticks for spring or something. And yeah. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this box, and let me know what you guys think, and if you guys want to try it out, I think you go, just Google Walmart Beauty Box, and you guys will find it. So, thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, and share, and like this video. Thank you.